SureVoid Products presents SlabVoid, which is part of the SlabVoid system. This product has assorted interior components in order to support today's constructions. As you can see, these interior partitions are pre-slotted in order to make different cell sizes needed for a variety of slab thicknesses. Larger cell sizes are normally for thin slabs and smaller cell sizes are for thicker slabs. Combining this cell size along with the proper types of paper will hold up heavier, thicker concrete pours. These different sized interior cell configurations will support slabs from 2 inches to 13 feet in thickness. All interior components are surrounded by a variety of exterior covers. Every slab void piece produced is assembled, glued, and stapled. The yellow line indicates how the cover is wrapped around the interior supports. The volume of products we produce demands timely deliveries. Sometimes this demand requires us to have several alternative exterior cover designs in order to address large volumes. Stock materials are cut, sized, and scored making other cover wraps as shown. Some products have an added back exterior panel. Other covers just merely wrap around the majority of the petitions and fit into the open slots and a back panel is stapled into place as shown. This last product shows the cover wrapping totally around the supporting network and a scrap piece of paper is glued to the cover which eliminates a huge volume of paper from being part of the landfill. All slab void products are made to the specified strength regardless of their appearance. These combined products make it possible to support a variety of structural concrete constructions. A construction site where a totally suspended slab is to be built requires caissons because expansive soils are present. The first product of the slab void system, the sure top, properly forms the upper two foot portion of these drilled piers. The pier top elevation is above ground level, which will be flush with the top surface of the carton forms. Notice, dirt is filled in the open areas around the sure tops. The perimeter of this totally isolated and pier supported structural slab is normally formed with wood. The second product of the slab void system is the surround pier void, which is a one piece product. In most commercial applications, it is a two or a four piece product set. This animation shows a two-piece set fitting tightly and correctly around each pier top that is above ground level. Slab Void is the featured product of this system. The thickness of the concrete determines the appropriate supporting strength of the product. This assembled, glued, and stapled paper construction tool is easily positioned side by side and end to end. This animation shows shaded, dark footprints of the construction workers from walking on top of the unprotected slab void. While discussing their next procedure, notice that one of the workers has dropped a hammer that punctured the top layer of the slab void. At the left side of the construction, you can see footprints from another worker. The discussion resumes while walking continues on the unprotected slab void surface. There is additional damage to the product's interior supports that is not visible. The shaded areas at the top indicate damage from compressing the interior supports. The undetermined damage to the slab void may not be strong enough to support the concrete that is soon to be placed upon its entire surface. Stop. Damage to the slab void below can be avoided if procedures are mandated. The preferred method is to correctly position a few surround pier voids around the piers that are shown poured above the ground, then completely filling in the surrounding area with the standard pieces of slab void including smaller pieces that are fitted into the odd areas. The slab void is randomly placed end to end and side by side. Sure Cover Board is a very important product of the slab void system. It is available in random sizes and thicknesses. This product is simply placed on the slab void to protect the entire surface from pinpoint loading and control the damage from foot traffic. This easy to handle product should be cut with the proper tool in order to appropriately fit around each pier. It is placed over the entire slab surface and each piece should be abutted or overlapped. Notice it covers small spaces that are unpractical to fill. It is best to bridge all joints of the slab void below. This procedure is repeated throughout the installation. Surround pier void, slab void, Sure cover board. Surround pier void, slab void, sure cover board. Surround pier void, slab void, sure cover board. Slab void, sure cover board. This repetitive procedure ensures protection for the entire slab void surface.
Rebar supports or bolsters are used in the preferred structural slab method for the spacing and placement of rebar. The specified type of concrete slump and strength of concrete is commonly placed by the use of a concrete pump which ensures a better result than hand pouring the total project from a ready mix concrete truck. After the concrete is poured, finished, and the slab is set, the perimeter forms are removed. Keeping a moist environment below the newly poured concrete slab is necessary to help soften the underlying corrugated paper void material. Simply use a hammer or shovel to dig a groove in the soil a few inches away from the vertical surface of the entire concrete perimeter. Another important component of the slab void system is a product called SureRetainer. This material is made from high density polyethylene or HDPE that is a molded plastic form. It is lightweight and easily positioned in the groove as shown. All pieces are overlapped as they are placed around the entire slab perimeter. At each corner intersection, the pieces should be scribed at the matching angle, then cut and positioned. This soil retainer is designed to be placed at an angle. As you can see, there is additional space for soil expansion at the perimeter. Both the angle and the groove are very important in order to resist the lateral pressures from the dirt being pushed against this product during the backfilling process. That is the exciting completion of an isolated structural slab foundation using the slab void system.